Algebra 2, 8.6b, we're going to talk about falling objects and quadratic equations. If you haven't seen the previous videos for Chapter 8, there's links in this description, so if you become lost or confused during the video, you can click on the description, find out what you missed, and catch up, and you should be okay. In most formulas, the variables represent measurable, non-negative quantities. And we talked about this in the previous video. It means that we don't have a need for absolute value signs when taking principal square roots. You know, height, speed, or rate, volume, or area aren't usually seen as negative values. If it tells you to find the volume of something, it's not going to be a negative amount, right? When an object is dropped or thrown downward, the distance in meters that it falls in t seconds and t is the time, is given by s equals 4.9 times t squared plus v sub 0 t. That little zero right there is telling us it's the initial velocity. See? By this little zero being here, this little subscript zero, it's telling us that it's the initial velocity. All right? So we're going to talk about the arch in St. Louis, Missouri, and... It's a very high arch, and it's the gateway to the west. You cross the Mississippi River, and you go underneath that arch. An apple is dropped from the top of the gateway arch in St. Louis, Missouri, which is 195 meters high. How long does it take to reach the ground? Well, since the apple was dropped, its initial velocity was zero. So we substitute zero for V sub zero and 195 for S, in our formula. Then we solve for t. So here's that formula again, s equals 4.9 times t squared plus v sub 0 t. We're going to substitute 0 for that v sub 0, and we're going to substitute 195 for s because that's how tall our arch is. Now we've got 195 equals 4.9 times t squared plus 0 t. So we don't need this at all, do we? That's just going to be a zero no matter what t is. So we just have 195 equals 4.9 times t squared. If we divide both sides of this equation by this coefficient 4.9, it's going to isolate that t squared, won't it? So now this becomes a 1. So we have 1t one squared. And 195 divided by 4.9 is 39.7959, and it went on and on and on. So we can just round this to 39.8, can't we? That 9 is telling the 7 to go up to the next number 8, so we have 39.8. And because we did that rounding, it's an approximate, isn't it? So we have 39.8 is approximately t squared. If we take off that 2 exponent and put a radical sign around the 39.8, we'll figure out what t is. We find the square root of 39.8 with our calculator, and it can't be a negative. We can't have a negative amount for dropping this apple, so we get a positive 6.31. So it's approximately, though. So it takes about 6.31 seconds for the apple to reach the ground smashed. That's pretty fast, isn't it? 6.31 seconds for an apple to fall from the top of that arch. All right, so we're going to continue using our St. Louis gateway arch, all right? Now, an object is thrown downward from the top of the arch at an initial velocity of 16 meters per second. So before we had a zero initial velocity, now we've got one at 16 meters per second, which is written as m slash s. So how long does it take to reach the ground? So our formula was s equals 4.9 times t squared plus v sub 0 t. Now we're going to put 195, because that's the height of the arch, equals 4.9 times t squared plus 16 t. We can subtract 195 from each side, or you could say we're adding a negative 195 to each side, because we want to set it as a quadratic equation. Now that creates a zero here, which I'm going to put back here instead, and we have 4.9 times t squared plus 16 times t equals, I mean, uh, minus 195 equals zero. So now it's in this quadratic form of an equation, that standard form. 
Now we can take these values and substitute them into the quadratic formula. So that's a, that's b, and that's our constant c. So a is going to come down here. This 4.9 is going to be multiplied by the 2, isn't it? And b is our 16. So we're going to have the inverse of b, which is a negative 16, plus or minus. The square root of b squared would be 16 squared minus 4 times a, which is our 4.9 again, times this c value, this negative 195. Now all we have to do is do the math. And 16 times 16 is 256. And if we multiply a negative 4 times a 4.9 and then multiply it by a negative 195, we get a positive, because of the negative and the negative, a positive 3,822. We add these two together underneath the radical sign, and we get 4,078. Now, we don't use the negative. There could be something, a negative number times a negative number that would make a positive 4,078, right? But we're not going to use that because we're dealing in measurements, and it's not going to be a negative measurement. So we just need the positive number. So we use our calculator to find the square root of 4,078, and it's 63.86 approximately. We have negative 16 plus 63.86, which gives us approximately 47.86. And when we multiplied this 2 times the 4.9, we got the 9.8, didn't we? Now what we have to do is take this 47.86 and divide it by the 9.8. We get about 4.88 seconds for it to hit the ground. So the apple was 6.31 seconds, wasn't it? And it was just released. It was just dropped. So there was no force on it dropping from us. It just was let go, and it was gravity bringing it down. Now that... It was being pushed at 16 meters per second, so maybe someone shoved it down and did it. It went a little bit faster and hit the ground in 4.88 seconds. See? Let's try this one. How far will an object fall in 3 seconds if it is thrown downward from the top of the arch at an initial velocity of 16 meters per second? So now it's asking how far it's going to fall. Now we're looking for the meters. We know it's 3 seconds. We know it's 16 meters per second. So here's our formula right here. Our s equals 4.9 times t squared plus v sub 0 t. We know it's 3 seconds, so we know t is going to be a 3. We know that initial velocity is going to be a 16. We don't need to change this formula at all. All we have to do is just substitute our values into the formula as it is and solve. If t is a 3, then we've got 3 squared. If v sub 0 is a 16, we've got 16 times 3. We do our math. We get 44.1 plus 48, and we get 92.1 meters in 3 seconds. So if the arch is 195 meters high, and it went 92.1 meters, then it almost went halfway down, didn't it? So we know it went 92.1 meters in the three seconds, all right? So you can use other formulas the same way, all right, with the quadratic formula. And we've done that in the last video. So if you're really confused, go back to the previous video. There's a link to 8.6a in this description, okay? So just go to 8.6a. Our next video is going to be about direct variation, and we've talked about this before in Algebra 1, and we're going to get a little deeper into it. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist, and back last year in Algebra 1 in Chapter 13, at the end of the year, in video 13.6b, I'm going to have a link to that one too, we did formulas with radicals. So... You can check that out, too. Maybe that'll help you. And all those previous videos for Chapter 8, we have 10 of them so far. So if you keep up, you should be okay, all right? I don't want you to miss anything. So I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having a great day. And keep trying. I'm so proud of you. I, I really, really am. And I hope I'll see you next video.
Bye.